Oh, stop it. <laughs> Hi. Do you look okay? <laughs> you look very handsome. Nice, so. Dear Megan, the day of our wedding has finally come. Although it feels a little bittersweet knowing that this time hopefully happens once a lifetime, I am so happy that this special day is about you and me. There is nobody else I'd rather go through the rest of my life with. You always help to balance me out and keep me from being just a little too much, but at the same time, you also brighten parts of me I couldn't brighten on my own. Ever since I've known you, I felt that we help complete each other. Without you and your love, I don't know where I'd be. Above all, though, you're a friend to me that I can talk to about anything, and it always brings me happiness to think I have you and everything amazing about you forever. I love you the most. Love, Jesse. Aww. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Your mom has it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I told her I needed it, and they said it didn't matter. <laughs> I think I got it. I'll get it for you. It's got a little something for you. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it needed a little extra something. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Ready to do this? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Jess, it feels like just yesterday we were two 17-year-old kids, young and in love. We always talked about getting married one day, but back then it seemed like that was something so distant into the future, and now we're really here. Through each phase of life, we've grown, both as individuals and as a couple, and it has been such an amazing journey thus far. I've loved every chapter of life we've experienced together up to this point, and I can't wait to keep writing our story as we go through this life together. I love you so much, more than you could ever know. See you soon, heart. Love always, me. I love it. And she asks, did you happen to notice where the quote on your watch is from? I don't know. I don't know the watch. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful watch. Oh my gosh. It says, No measure of time with you will ever be enough, but let's start with forever. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that bad luck that we kiss? Well, it's too late now. So. <laughs> you look, you so look beautiful. beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my <laughs> it is clear that you have found in each other a kindred spirit, someone who understands and stands by you through thick and thin. This is not a relationship of convenience, but one of mutual respect and admiration. Today, Megan, I join my life to yours, not only as your husband, but as your friend and confidant. Let me be the shoulder you lean on, the rock on which you rest, the companion of your life. With you, I will walk my path from this day forward. I stand here with you in love with who you are now and who you will be in the future. I pledge to be your best friend, your confidant, and your strength. I'll work to create a household filled with love, peace, laughter, patience, and respect. I promise to grow old together with you, cherishing each day. I will love you faithfully through happy times and sadness, believing love is the strongest force for good in the world. I give you my hand to help and my heart to love forever. Jesse Wood and Megan McCarthy have declared their intent of commitment to one another as witnessed by all of us. But we, as their community of family and friends, are invited parties to this commitment 
And thus, we have a responsibility to this couple and to this train. <laughs> All aboard the love train, my friends. <laughs> I do, do I get an amen? I do. <laughs> do you, all who are present here today, including those riding on the train to the next town, <laughs> vow to surround Jesse Wood and Megan McCarthy in love to contribute to this new community and support them in marriage if you do collectively say, we do. We do. By the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you partners in life. You may kiss one another. <laughs> Family, friends, it is my honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Wood. <laughs> Jesse, sometimes I can't believe how fast time flies. We're 14 years apart in age, and it seems like just yesterday when you were running down the stairs in the morning, like a bowling ball, wanting to, hit, wanting to start the day full of energy. Back then, even though we knew there was so much more to come, there was rarely ever a thought about you graduating high school, graduating college, starting a career, getting married, and everything in between. To me, it felt like you were going to be young forever, but now that you're older, in a very good way, that age gap feels like it closes more and more every day. Not only have I had the chance to get to know you and love you as my little brother, but I've had a chance to get to know you and love you as the man that you have become and are becoming. And I'm super proud of you and how far you've come. Growing up with Megan, we always loved the Disney movies and everything Disney. Megan especially loved Belle from Beauty and the Beast. When Megan and Jesse met in high school, through cross country, we had no idea that Jesse was going to be her beast. <laughs> and just like the beast, he is now her Prince Charming. Years ago, when they were on the same cross country team, Jesse asked Megan to go out. And I was, didn't know him, so I wasn't exactly sure about what to say. And my wife infamously said, honey, don't worry about it. No one ever marries her high school boyfriend. <laughs> back when you were in high school and told us that you met a girl, Megan, even back then we could tell it wasn't just a girl, but something different. When we got to meet her, she was sweet and polite and shy. Everything that you weren't. I'm just kidding, you're sweet too. If I could say one thing about the two of them, I would quote The Incredibles. When they look at each other, I know they think you are my greatest adventure. Cheers to Megan and Jesse. <laughs> so awesome that you not only admire and love each other, but are able to call each other best friend. That's seriously a gift and a blessing to have because not everyone gets to have that in life. <laughs> 